Hello and welcome back to Bodon Basics. I'm Matt DeBlas, and today we're going to talk about ladder drills with a metronome. Now, a ladder in um, any sort of sports or workout context, or in this context, is uh, sets that start at a low intensity, build up, then come back down, uh, stopping at each level on the way up and down. And this is going to be no different. We're going to work on this with a metronome, and we're going to start with quarter notes. So one, two, three, four, go to ace notes, one and two and three and four and. Then go to triplet ace notes, so one and a two and a three and a four and a. Sixteenth notes, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. And then back down the triplets, ace notes to quarter notes. Um, and I'll play through it at uh, moderate tempo, about 90 BPM, so you can see uh, how that works. And uh, I recommend when you do the, the triplet, the jig pattern, do that down up tap style and you can do this on your drum or you can use your notebook or clipboard practice pad if you want to keep it a little bit quieter um, and I use I've got a metronome app which I use on my phone or my tablet I'm doing it on the iPad now because I'm filming on the phone and as I've said before I think using a metronome and practicing with a metronome is a useful exercise for um, musicians of all types and percussionists and bow players. Not only does it help you internalize better sense of rhythm and keep you from speeding up and slowing down as you vary your groove or add fills and ornaments, but it helps you learn to listen to the rhythm of other players. Like when you play, when you play in a session or in a performance, you will probably not have a metronome uh, or a click track, except for some contexts. If you're in the recording studio, you may have a click track but you're not going to be using a metronome when you play out live. Uh, but by practicing with it, it keeps you more consistent, but also helps you learn to listen to the rhythm of other players around you and pick up on that. So by learning to follow an external rhythm instead of just relying on what's in your head, it helps you maintain that groove and listen better too. So metronome drills are never fun, and no matter how good you are, you always feel like you're speeding up or slowing down a little bit and so they can be kind of frustrating and painful but it's kind of the good pain that helps you grow and learn so i'm going to set my metronome here at 90 bpm which is kind of a moderate tempo you can as you do this do it slower or faster and what we're going to do is four bars of quarter notes four bars of ace note so the quarter notes will just be down strokes ace notes will be down up down up um then the triplets, the down, up, tap, down, up, tap, down, up, tap, and then the sixteenth notes, the, the quick down, up, down, ups in the kind of double time. And then we're going to go back down again. So we'll, I'm going to run through this exercise once so you can see how it works. You can try it at any tempo you want. I suggest starting slow. Um, so start at a slow tempo that's easy to maintain, and as you get smoother at it, speed it up a little bit but also as you feel like you're getting smoother at it don't be afraid to try slowing it down because sometimes playing slower can make things harder because there's more space between each pulse and it can be more uh it can be easier to drift a little bit off of the pulse of off of the beat when you're playing slower so practicing it at different tempos not just the fastest you can but also slower than you think you need to can really help you develop your your timing on this and you'll notice even as I do this, it'll probably be pretty likely that as I change from one pattern to the next, there's a little bit of wobble in my timing. Um, so don't feel bad. It's just the way practicing with a metronome can be. So here we go. I'll start out with the quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three.
So that is a ladder ladder drill with the metronome. So you go up and then you come back down and you can practice that at various tempos. You can do longer intervals of each one, but four bars of each is pretty good um, just because it gives you a chance to settle into the groove on each one then shift gears as it were. And it's a handy thing to practice. It'll make you better at following grooves, uh, tempo changes, and give you a little bit better sense so when you're playing as you add ornaments and changes to the groove. But yeah, it's not necessarily fun, but it's good for you. Um, and if you want to get better, it's good practice. So, and I need to do it more myself. There you go. Happy drumming. <laughs>